ESPN3. It's the Big South Men's Basketball Tournament here in Hampton, Virginia. It's the number seven seed Hampton Pirates playing host to the number 10 seed Presbyterian Blue Host. Matt White here courtside ready to bring you action here as we get uh, underway. We are... PC is opening in the first round for the ninth consecutive season where they have a two and six record while Hampton's playing a first it's virus pandemic. Blue Hawks are looking to become the third number 10 seed to advance to the quarterfinals in six years. And the first since 2008, Presbyterian 2-8 all-time in the Big South Tournament advanced out of the first round in 2019 as the number 7 seed. Four PC's eight tournament losses have been just by single digits. The Pirates are looking to become the third consecutive 7 seed to advance to the quarterfinals. Hampton 3 and 2 all-time in the Big South Championship Tournament and was runner-up in 2020 as the number 5 seed. Pirates are seeing the third straight trip to the quarterfinals. And we are underway. Tip belongs to the Pirates. And we'll take a look now at our Sun Belt Reynolds starting lineup first with the Pirates. It's Chris Shelton there with the ball. Finds Dave Jordan Dickens. Davion Warren, the leading scorer in the Big South during the regular season. Joined along with Marquise Godwin. And at the point, Russell Dean, who was an all honorable mention for the postseason awards that were announced yesterday in the Big South. Shot up and no good. Blue holes here in the black uniforms with red and blue trim. They go inside to the big man. Up under double from Hampton. Hill. Up. And the three-pointer is knocked down from the corner. Owen McCormick. Owen McCormick. Also an all-academic selection in the Big South. Blue Holtz take the early 3-0 lead. Pass from Dean. It's a turnover. Bounces around and comes to McCormick. One minute gone by here in Hampton. And the Blue Holtz with the lead. Corner three is an air ball. Shot came from Rayshon Harrison, who also picked up plenty of awards yesterday. He got a block as the block there by the Blue Host. Harrison named the freshman of the year, second team all-conference and all-freshman team, so a lot of awards for the young man, number zero. Harrison looks to have a bright future for the Blue Holtz. That block on the other end came from Reddish, and the Blue Holtz, who on the season, one of the top defensive teams in the Big South, looked to have a strong performance here, Presbyterian, Gave up 67.1 points on the year, which was good for number three in the conference. And a drive there by Davion Warren draws contact. Foul on four, Winston Hill. Foul charge first. to number four, Winston Hill, his first. Team's first. Team first. Baseline inbound for the Pirates. Looking to get on the board here, trailing by three. Dean caught off in the lane. Finds Dickens. Dickens. And Hill, battle of the bigs. The seven foot frame and the floater is good for Count Dave Short Dickens. Dickens. Number two in the nation in block shots. Hampton, one of the top shot blocking teams in the nation. Blue Host lead is one. Let's give a drive, Reddish. Looks to the corner, three, it's up. Side iron, no good. Dickens secures the rebound, and here come the Pirates. Warren works the near sideline, uses the screen, cut off by Hill. Floater up and over. Davion Harrison Warren. is good for Davion Warren. Pirates on top by one. Blue Holes look over a man to man set from Hampton. Harrison in the lane. Floater. Baseline strong, rebound comes to the Pirates. Underway here in the first round of the Big South Tournament Championship. Good defense from the Blue Holes. Hounding Godwin. 
Ball comes back to Dickens. Dickens down low, up and Dickens. over the defense. The and Dejour Dickens with his second field goal puts the Pirates up by three. Pirates now shooting 50% from the floor, or excuse me, 60% at three and five. Presbyterian one of five, one of three for all three of their points. Entry pass down low comes to Hill. Hill will size up Dickens. Looks, saw the double team coming. Now spins away. Nice no look pass. Two seconds shot may have been blocked there by Dickens. Great defensive stand by Hampton. Pirates on a 6-0 run. Looking to add to it. Shelton catching, shooting three off the mark. No good. Rebound comes to Reddish. And the Blue Holtz look to stop this 6-0 run. Back to Hill. Hill with the weight advantage over Dickens, but can't adjust the shot to compensate for the height differential. The shot is short, rebound to Hampton. Warren loses it, trying to spin. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Dustin down the lane, has a mismatch with Hill and draws contact. And that will take us to the media timeout. Follow Pirates four. lead here, Winston six Hill, to three. Second You're watching ESPN second. three, and this Big South Never broadcast is brought to media you timeout. by Geico. We'll be back. The Big South here on ESPN. Big South men's tournament championship going on here in Hampton, and over the last 231, Pirates on a 6-0 run. Last six trips for the Blue Holes have come away with. A big goose egg, and they've had a scoring drought for almost the last four minutes. And a reminder, this Big South broadcast is brought to you in part by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Visit HerculesTires.com. Geico, where 15 minutes can save you 50% or more on car insurance. Visit Geico.com today. And Sunbelt Reynolds, Deuce. we have Dean equipment for that. And Jersey Deuce. Mike's, a sub above. Deuce Dean at the free throw line for the Pirates on the season. A 75% free throw shooter. Knocks down the first. That last foul was charged to Presbyterian's Winston Hill, so he's picked up two personals, and that is a big blow for th their team as Deuce Dean splits the free throws. 15.35 to go. McCormick. Dribble handoff, finds Younger. Jumper up, no good. Tipped around, deflected by Harrison, and it's controlled by the Pirates, and the officials are going to stop play. I think there was an issue with the game clock. Officials are gonna talk about it, and they're gonna go look at a replay. Well, while we have this break in the game, let's just take talk about our Ingles keys to the game and as I mentioned before coming into this matchup Presbyterian one of the top defensive teams in the conference only giving up 67 point ones per game good for third Pirates are fifth in the conference averaging 69.7 points per game and in their first matchup coming back on February the 11th official timeout Presbyterian was able to control the tempo Oh, I'm sorry. 34. All right, so there was a cl uh, fi uh, clock error as the official was asking me what was the clock when Deuce Dean attempted his free throw and it's 15.34 and that's what the clock remains at now. So clock did not run that last possession for Okay. So the clock will be adjusted to 15-15 with 28 seconds on the shot clock. But to wrap up our English keys to the game, Pirates, when they fell to Presbyterian back on February the 11th, offensively just couldn't get things going. And Presbyterian put up 80 points in that 80-75 to victory. And that was an offensive explosion for the Blue Holes because on the year, they only averaged 64.1 points per game. So... Blue Holes are going to look to create shots. 
Hampton's got to find a way to score as well as Presbyterian is known to be strong defensively. We return to action here, skip pass, Godwin thought about the three, steps in, pull up jumper left side, no good, rebound comes to Younger who's gonna push. McCormick loses it, goes out of bounds, they will say last touch by the Blue Hosts. And the scoring drought for Presbyterian continues. 424 since their last bucket. Younger really came away with the steal. Lazy pass from Juice Dean. And Warren not aware that the defender was right there. 18 seconds on the shot clock. 14.42 to go. Dickens threw it to Shelton on a cut. Shelton wasn't looking for a turnover. Harrison in the lane, the floater, it's up, and that ends the run. Number zero. Had been almost five Harrison minutes on the basket. Between buckets for the Blue Holtz, and they are within a field goal. Pirates now in a bit of a drop themselves. One field goal in their last eight possessions. Shelton comes off the screen. Down low, Dean, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Zone look here for the Blue Holes. Warren puts up a contested shot and it's good. Warren. Shady oh, on Warren with the defender all over him. Gets the three-pointer to fall and the lead for the Pirates now is five. 13.50 to go. Harrison works the left side. Strong screen from McCormick. Nice double off to McCormick. And they're going to call a foul. Foul looks Foul to be 12. against Chris Shelton. Chris Shelton. His first. His first. Team's first. Team first. That will send Brandon Younger, the junior guard out of Marriott of Georgia, to the free throw line. Oh, no, they say he was not in the act of shooting. Harrison receives the inbound pass left open. He'll take the three. It's off the mark. Ball deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Presbyterian Pirates out and the Pirates with the sub here Bethea coming in number in four for Mom Bethea Jr. Junior guard out of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Thirteen twenty-five and counting here in the first half. Godwin dribble handoff Warren looks down low. Dejour Dickens uses the right hand on the left side and Dickens with his third field goal, pushes the Pirate lead, now 12 to five. Pirates on a 12 to two run, it's running almost five minutes. Harrison comes off the screen, 13 seconds for the Blue Holes. Shooting 25% from three, 20% from the floor are the Blue Holes. McCormick in the lane with two seconds. Fade away. Shot is up and it's good. Strong Number move 15, by Owen McCormick, McCormick the sophomore at the buzz. Out of North Carolina. Uses the glass. Shot gets the bench of the Blue Hose alive. Trying to rally their teammates. Dean double team. Godwin. Elbow jumper. It's up. Shot is short. Rebound comes to Reddish, and here come the Blue Holes. Throws it up, the lob to Younger, drops it back off to McCormick, and he is fouled from behind. A lot of extra passing there, but the Blue Holes will Foul head to the free throw line. His Foul will be charged to Bethea. Team second. His first, team second. Owen McCormick at the line. McCormick will head to the free throw line for Presbyterian. He's a 72% free throw shooter. Shot is up and good. Anthony McCormick now leading this team in scoring for the Pirates. Six. Stewart checks in. Only other Blue Holes with Holes. points today so far is Harrison. So coming in for the Pirates, Shaheem Anthony. Thrash also making his debut for the Blue Holes. Pirates 
free throws for McCormick. Make it a three-point ball game, 12 to nine. Under 12 minutes, next dead ball will take us to immediate timeout. But there, uses the screen from Anthony. Anthony spinning in the lane, cutting but there, wide open to the basket okay. and it's good. Counted. Great pass between those two. And the lead for Hampton goes back to five. Thrash far side, looks up top. Stewart swings it around, comes to Harrison. Harrison uses the screen, elbow jumper is short. Nearly got the roll, but Anthony secures the rebound for Hampton. Deuce Dean will push. Dean coming downhill, good help from the Blue Holes. Warren thought about the three. 18 seconds, step back, he'll take a long three. Shot is good, Davion Warren. From Second made town. three, and the Pirates lead now at eight, 17 to nine. So we approach the 11 minute mark. McCormick works the right elbow, guarded by Anthony. Nice cut along the baseline, shot is up, and Harrison is fouled, going to the basket. Foul Five looks to be charged to Chris Shelton, and that'll take us to the media timeout. Pirates lead 17 to nine. You're media watching timeout. ESPN 3, and we'll be right back. The Big South Conference would like to thank our following valued corporate partners for their support. Back here on ESPN 3, and this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you by GEICO. Why we got this break, a reminder, Hercules Tires is the official tire of the Big South Conference and for over 65 years has been providing tires with unbeatable quality at an unmatched value. Whatever the vehicle and whatever the terrain, Hercules Tires invites you to ride on our strength. For a retailer near you, visit HerculesTires.com. So we come back to action here in Hampton, Virginia. Rashawn Harrison, first team, excuse me, uh, all freshman Shooting selection, two. a second team selection and the freshman of the year in the Big South. First free throw, no good. Surprisingly, Harrison, an 81% free throw shooter short on the first. Second shot is up, knocks it down. Lead back to seven for the Pirates. Pirates move the ball around. Anthony working the left elbow. Looks for the cutter. Dribble handoff Warren. Harrison and Rashawn, two of the top scorers in this league. Deuce Dean, drive. Elbow pull-up jumper is good. Deuce Dean. Deuce Dean. The jumper. Knocks down the jumper. That's his first field goal. He's got three points. Again, an all honorable mention for the postseason awards here in the Big South. Harrison comes off the screen from McCormick. Dances with Anthony, 14 seconds on the shot clock. Skip pass, elbow jumper, there's contact. Late call, but the right call. Reddish was fouled on the shot. They're gonna get Deuce Dean Foul with the one. personal. One, Deuce Dean, his first. Reddish, Team four. We'll head to the free throw line. A 63% free throw shooter. Reddish at the line. Reddish knocks down the first. Second free throw, short, rebound Warren. Dean looks to push, going all the way to the basket. He's fouled. Foul on, Foul on two. Thrash. Thrash his first. His first. Team third. They were fighting. They were uh, trying to decide whether or not Dean was going up, and they say he was not. So, shot clock stays at 23 seconds as the Pirates inbound. Warren goes back. Anthony, three-pointer right side up, and it's an air ball. McCormick will let it go out of bounds. With 9.47, Pirates now. lead is eight. Checking in during that exchange, number five, Zeb Graham, a sophomore at a Fort Mill, South Carolina, getting his first action today. 
comes to Graham. Handoff back to Reddish. Elbow pull up jumper is good. Reddish on the basket. 9.24 to go. Presbyterian shooting 31%. Foul on. And Three. they got a foul on Davion Warren. Warren. His first team fifth. Official calling a push on Warren. Coach Joyner trying to explain to the official that he was grabbed. So after that exchange, there was some confusion. The teams went to their benches as if it was a timeout, but the turnover gives the ball back to the Blue Host. Lead is six for Hampton. Blue Host driving to the basket. Reddish gets all the way to the cup, and the layup with the left hand is good. Number 23, Reddish on the basket. Reddish caught the defense sleeping. Dean picks up his dribble, but there it comes to help. It's a four-point lead for the Pirates. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Dickens sets the screen. Four, three, two, one, and they're going to call a travel is the call. on Deuce Dean. Back to back turnovers for Hampton. Gives the ball back to the Blue Holes. Graham crosses the timeline. 8.33 and counting. Blue Holes with the momentum trying to. Dig themselves out of what was at most a seven, eight point deficit. Reddish backs down the smaller two Dean shot is short, tipped around, comes to Dean. Dean pushing, bounce pass ahead of Bethea, but there's lay up and good. Count it. Great vision by Dean, great finish by Bethea, and the Pirates push it to 21 to 15. They are now two of two from the floor. He's got four points. And he's got a steal and another opportunity to field goal here. But they are to the bucket. Shot is blocked, but no, the officials will call a foul. And that will take us to the media timeout. But they will be at the free throw line. They're going to call the foul two, thrash. on Thrash. Once again, you're watching ESPN4. 3. This Big media South Network timeout. broadcast is brought to you by Geico. We'll be back. The Big South Conference would like to thank our following fans. We are the Big South, where winners are made. You're watching ESPN3, this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you by Geico. And while we got this break, a reminder, Mountain Dew knows that fans deserve something that will quench their thirst every day of the week, especially on game day. So no matter where you might be cheering on your team, it's always a good time for a do. Mountain Dew, do the do. As we come back to action, it's Raymond, Raymond Bethea, Bethea, at, the Bethea at the free throw line for Hampton. His first free throw up and good. He's a 74% free throw shooter on the season. Gives him five points on the afternoon, pushes the lead to seven. Second free throw up and short. Rebound to Harrison. And Blue Holtz looking to get the offense in gear, shooting 33% from the floor. Pirates shooting 60%. McCormick dribble handoff with Graham. Graham cutting down the lane, finds, I believe that was Reddish. Number 23, Reddish on the basket. It was, and this easy slam lead back to five. Godwin works the left sideline. Cut off by number 24 of the Blue Holes. LeGregam, who just checked in. Six seconds on the shot clock. Warren going to have to pull from deep. Back iron, no good. Rebound to Harrison. Under seven to play here in the half. Warren 
Harrison down the lane, goes up and over the top, able to get that over the arm of DeJore Dickens. Shot no good. Godwin transition. His three is up, and it's good. That's Marquise Godwin gets on the board. 25-17. Lead goes back to eight. 6.33 and counting here at the Convocation Center, the first round of the Big South men's tournament. Sixteen seconds on the shot clock. McCormick, top of the key, try to go with the back door cut to Harrison Dickens, Get able ball. to get his—I don't even know what size blue shoe he wears—but he got a big foot in front of that one. For the blue hole. So it's a kick ball. Reset the shot clock to twenty seconds. Younger will return to the floor, replacing Le Graham. Harrison working the right side, hounded by Bethay. Uses the screen, pump fake, find a sign, somebody go, perfectly read by Davion Warren, but couldn't control it, six seconds. Reddish with five, cuts down low, shot up, no good, but McCormick on the weak side for the easy tip Number in. 15, McCormick. Great rebound, if you will, there for the Blue Hose, as it looked like Davion Warren was going to have an easy steal and a fast break opportunity, but it bounces back in their favor. Warren tries to get it to rust a good defense from the Blue Hose, showing man to man. McCormick stepped, it's trying to steal the pass, Bethea. and Bethea makes him pay. Raymond Bethea having a game. Lead now at nine. Bethea has got eight points. First, May three of the game for Bethea. Harrison uses the screen. Jumper pull up. No good. Tip around comes to Dickens. Warren lost control. Coach Joyner going to call a timeout. 28 to 19, 502 remaining in the half. Pirates. 30 second timeout charge to the Pirates. And leading here, right now shooting 61% from the floor, 11 of 18. As we can take this timeout, a reminder a good basketball team is a close knit like a family, solid in all facets of the game, and able to weather whatever challenges the other team presents. Well, that sounds a lot like First Citizens Bank. Strong, stable, and managed by the same family for three generations. First Citizens Bank, forever first. We come out of the 30 second timeout. Warren will get a break. He'll be replaced by Elijah Seward getting his first action today. 5.02 to go in the half. You're watching the 2021 Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Championship. And this first round is the seven seed Hampton, 10 and 13 overall, nine and nine in conference play, playing host of the number 10 seed Presbyterian Blue Host, seven and 14 on the year, five of 12 in conference. Harrison comes off the screen, free throw, jumper, no good. Seward skies up, gets the rebound, and the Pirates with the field goal here can push the lead to double digits. Dean jumper is good. Dean not looked at to be someone to pull up like that, but saw the mismatch and made the defense pay. Lead now goes to 11. Harrison down the lane, inside out. Pass comes to me here at the midcourt, and it's Pirates a turnover. Out of bounds. Possession goes back to Hampton with 420 remaining. Thresh back in the lineup. Harrison getting a breather. Thrash returns to the floor. 11 a point advantage for Hampton shooting 63% from the floor. They go to the big man, Dickens. Dickens now looking for the cutter. Godwin wide open, top of the key. His three is good. Marquise Godwin, Godwin with his second mate three in the blue hole. Call the 30-second timeout the lead, 33-19. to 19. 
Another 8-0 run for Hampton over the last 90 seconds. And we're back here on ESPN3. It's the 2021 Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Championship. The number seven seed Hampton Pirates and the number 10 seed Presbyterian Blue Holes. And a reminder to get social with the Big South. Join the always growing network of Big South fans on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. You can also follow the conference source for game updates and on-site championship coverage via Twitter at Big South Game Day. Follow, watch, like, and share with the Big South Conference. Younger finds Graham, 20 seconds on the shot clock. McCormick left open, three, no good, and we're gonna get a foul here going the other way. Reddish called for the push. That'll be his first, just the 15th foul on Presbyterian. Foul on 23, Reddish, his first team. Presbyterian team. in the midst of another two minute plus scoring drought. And those same 90 second time frame, the Pirates on an 8-0 run and have been four of four on their last four field goal attempts. Warren checked back into the game. Back and down. Nice cut, Bethay, but pass was a little behind him. Reddish comes away with the steal. Fast break opportunity. Younger comes back up top. Thrash. 318 and counting. Reddish going to back down. Bethay, pump fake, pump fake. Shot is up. May have been deflected there by Dickens. And the Pirates will slow things down as we come to the three minute mark. 14-point advantage, Deuce Dean uses the screen from Dickens. They can look down low, skip past Bethea. His three is up, short. Rebound secured by the Blue Holes. Good balance there by Younger. He went to the floor but was able to keep his dribble. And they're going to get Davion Warren with the foul blocking foul. Three, Warren. His second. It's going to be the second on six. Warren, so he will sit down. Stewart will return to the floor. 2.44 remaining in the first half. Coming up later in this game, I'll be joined by a special guest, Mr. Kyle Kalander, the commissioner of the Big South Conference here in attendance today. Talk about all the things going on in and around the Big South as well as Spring football got underway today here in the Big South. So a lot to talk about with the commissioner, especially in this very unique season. Eight seconds, thrash, jumper, no good. Seward will control, and Dean will get the call from Coach Edward Buck Joyner. Pirates with the momentum. Looking to maintain pressure on the Blue Holes. Going into halftime, Dean fakes the pass, goes down the lane, contact on the drive, and Deuce Dean will head back to the free throw line. Foul, Foul looks to be against McCormick. McCormick his first. That's his first. Team six. 16 foul. Deuce Dean at the line, shooting two. Deuce Dean goes back to the free throw line. Today he's one of two. About a 70% free throw shooter on the year is Dean. First shot is good. Six points now for Dean. Very balanced scoring for the parts on the floor. Bethea with eight. Dickens with six. Dean with six. Godwin with six. And second free throw off the mark for Dean. Leading score for the Pirates is Davion Warren with eight and Presbyterian Pirates ball turns the ball over again. The scoring drought now over four minutes. A 9-0 run. Make that a 12-2 run now, I'm sorry. Over the last five minutes for Hampton. Dean uses the screen down the lane. Goes left hand on the lane, but it's good. Dean. Deuce Dean right now getting in the lane and getting whatever he wants as we come to the final 90 seconds here of the first half. Pirates lead 36 to 19. McCormick working the right elbow. He's had some success there. Looking down low for Reddish. Reddish with the size advantage. Guarded by the much smaller Elijah Seward. 
Harrison comes open, skip three, no good. Rebound, Younger, shot blocked! McCormick with the offensive rebound, loses his dribble, his shot is up. They're gonna call a foul, and the bucket is good. Basket's good. They're gonna foul. call the foul, foul on Dickens. Dickens. His first. His first. Team seven. I think the best thing that happened for McCormick on that exchange is when he lost control. Back in the lineup. And Dickens mistimed the jump. McCormick, had McCormick the was able to catch him Shooting in midair, ball. draw the contact, and make the free throw. Well, free throw forthcoming, I should say. And there it is. McCormick having a strong first half. He's got 12 points now. He's been on the floor for 19 minutes here this first half to go along with two rebounds and a steal. Under a minute to go. Pirates continuing to work the clock. Here comes the screen and roll from DeJour and Deuce. Come outside, Seward, he'll spot up for three. Shot is blocked by Harrison. Great read by the Blue Hose. Younger, layup up, no good. Tipped around and comes back to the Pirates. Ahead to Batea. Batea driving. Pull up jumper over Thrash. No good. And the rebound comes back to the Blue Holes, and the shot clock is turned off. Harrison out near midcourt. 16 seconds in counting. Pirates in man to man. The rookie of the year guarded by Marquise Godwin. Harrison puts it on the floor, uses the screen from McCormick, comes back McCormick. Three is up, and it's good. That's a three McCormick from number 15. with the last McCormick. six points for the Blue Hose, and that'll take us to halftime. Hampton half, is leading 36 to 25 in what's been an exciting first half. Presbyterian and when 25. we come back, we'll have the Geico halftime report. 36-25, you're watching the 2021 Hertz. Accurate TLX. Visit your Accurate dealer today. Back here on ESPN3, Matt White. It's the 2021 Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Championship where we've had an exciting first half and I'm joined by a very special guest, the head honcho, the big man in charge, the head cheese. He's got a lot of titles, but we call him Mr. Todd Lander, the commissioner here in the Big South. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. It's welcome, tournament time. How about that? Welcome back to Hampton. I'll give you a slight early Happy March Madness, sir. <laughs> few it's, hours away from the March Madness, but it's already started here in the Big South. Yes, it has, and we're excited. So much has gone into this season. Everybody on campus has worked so hard to make this season happen, and it's happened successfully. We had 87% of our games completed this year, which is a great percentage. 
given everything we were working on, and our team's averaged 17 conference games this season. So tremendous work on the part of our institutions. Yes, again, a big shout-out, and thank you to all of the members of all the member institutions and the conference leadership that made this season possible when some had doubts. Hill gets on the board for the Blue Holes here as we start the second half. And Commissioner, you know, once again, we were looking here for 2020 to have this tournament in its first year down in Charlotte, but looking ahead next year and in the future, Big South Tournament, all 24 teams in the Queen City down at the Bojangles Coliseum as Deuce Dean misses that layup. But just talk about the future outlook for this tournament with all the teams in one location. Yeah, we were really excited. We were hoping to get ready for the tournament down in Charlotte uh, this year. That's, that's where we'd be today, as a matter of fact. But uh, with everything going on with COVID and shutting things down, we decided to put it off for a year, but really excited about bringing everybody to Charlotte. Charlotte's a great town, great city, of course. We're headquartered there, so we know a little bit about that. But they're really excited to have us. They're excited to have the Big South Conference bring our championship there and have all 24 teams come in, as you say. So it's going to be a great party, great celebration of Big South basketball. Dejour Dickens, the big man, seven feet tall. His lane is good. Leaf goes back to double digits for Hampton. And you talk about, well, it's 24 teams now, but looking ahead, North Carolina a and will be a full member, correct me if I'm wrong, July 1st of this year. July 1st of this year. We're really excited to bring the Aggies in. Oh, what, a, what a great history and tradition they have, and certainly great athletics program. They're, I think they're leading the MEAC this year in men's basketball, and, and so they'll really bring quality basketball to the conference. Obviously on the football side, have traditionally been very good, but we just really like their people and, and their institution and, and who they are and what they bring. So they're going to really help us get better. Needless to say, Hampton and North Carolina a and quite familiar with one another, long-time rivals back in the D2 area, Seattle all the way back to the MEAC. So two familiar folks reuniting here in the Big South as Dejour Dickens misses that layup on the last possession for the Blue Host. It was Reddish with the jumper. And before we let you get out of here, sir, you know, you're a very busy man. Not only does today mark the beginning of the Big South Men's Basketball Championship Tournament, there will be another game coming up at 4 o'clock. That game will be featuring Upstate and High Point. Today we also, it's weird to say in the month of February, <laughs> kicking off football in yeah. the Big South Conference. How about that? Of course, we had to delay FCS football from the fall to the spring. Today we've got three teams in action, and uh, the new member of uh, Big South football, Robert Morris, the Colonials are tied with JMU, number two team in the, in the nation at halftime. They're down, I think, a touchdown right now, but uh, excited for them. Gardner-Webb's playing, Kennesaw State's playing today. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to think about it right now, especially in the midst of the Hercules Tires basketball championships, but we're really excited for those teams, those student-athletes. You know, everybody's been waiting so long to get out there. So, again, a real tribute to our, our, our schools and everything they've done to make it happen. Yep, there was an offensive foul charged to the Blue Hole, so possession goes back to Hampton. But, again, sir, you know, commend you, commend your staff, the – uh, membership of, of the leadership of the conference members for doing everything possible to get as many sports as possible in for all of the member institutions that could participate. So again, uh, our kudos to you and the leadership across the board for making not only this Hercules Men's Basketball Championship a possibility, but sports overall in wow. what has been a Dickens. monumental, He's historically second. different team season for not just athletes, but our world. Well, no, no question. Well, I really appreciate that, but it's been a team effort, no doubt. And so we're all in this together. We're excited about the Big South. We're excited about this spring and everything that's going on and really looking forward to the future. All right. Well, once again, that was Conference Commissioner Kyle Calendo joining us here during the second half of this matchup as Hill is at the free throw line. His shot up and good brings the Blue Holes back within eight. If we take another look at it here, Hill able to get the big man, Dejo Dickens, out of position, drew the contact. And here's free throw number two. Hill was limited in minutes in the first half with his foul trouble, but so far here in the second half, he's making a major impact for the Blue Holes. Yeah, Hill only now playing in his seventh minute of the contest. So we'll see how much of a factor his presence on the floor will bring for both teams. Turnover there, Deuce Dean in no man's land. Younger comes away with it. Reddish, middle of the floor. Corner, McCormick, three up. Good. Number 15, Transition McCormick for points off turnovers for the Blue Hawks. Bring them back to within four. 
16-38 and counting. Pirates in a two minute plus scoring drought. Another steal, Reddish. And he draws contact and a foul on Dickens. And just like that, the Blue Holes Fastest are within good. a field goal. Foul number five, Dickens. Three turnovers in the last 2.30 for the Pirates. 9-0 run for the Blue Holes. Team third. And that'll take us to a media timeout here. You're watching ESPN3. Pepsi Wild Cherry. Back here on ESPN Plus, it's been turnover, excuse me, ESPN 3, and it's been turnovers, and it's been Presbyterian taking advantage of it here on a 9-0 run. If you take another look at it here, it's our Hercules tire strong move of the game. The turnover resulting in a foul and a lay-in for the Blue Holes at the free throw line will be Mr. Trayvon Reddish. And that's the strong move of the game. Again, brought to you by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Can be a one point ball game here if Reddish can convert the three point play. That last foul charge to Dickens, I believe, was his fourth. Free throws up, and it's good. It's a 10 0 run for the Blue Hosts. Excuse me, just the third team foul on DeJore Dickens. So he is sitting down. Bethea back in the game. He'll take the three pointer here. Front iron, no good. Rebound comes back to Bethea. Godwin will take a shot at a three. His shot up, no good. Rebound, Harrison. Pirates were shooting 60 plus. Per Percent in the first half right now is down to 52 percent. Steal there as Harrison's no look pass deflected and stolen. Dean Godwin will hold, and the Pirates set up the offense here with 15:48 in the ball game. Warren to the cup, shot up, no good, but he's fouled. And Foul we are heading to a media Harrison. timeout once again. You're His watching ESPN three. This Big South. Network Media broadcast is brought out. to you by Geico. We'll be back. The Big South would like to thank our 2021 title sponsor of the men's. Geico. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. Back here on ESPN3. It's the opening round of the 2021 Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Championship. It's the number seven seed Hampton Pirates playing host of the number 10 seed Presbyterian Blue Host. And the Blue Holes, in the midst of a 10-0 run, have cut the Hampton lead to just one point. Hampton has not scored in the last 3-11. And Davion Warren at the, line, at the free throw two. line now to shoot two. Warren right now with eight points. Make it nine. Got the roll. And while we got this break, a reminder, find out how much you can save on car insurance with a fast free quote from GEICO at geico.com that's geico 15 minutes could save you 15 percent or more on car insurance so warren splits the free throws it's a two-point ball game blue host looking to finish the run reddish will spot up his three no good rebound tipped comes to younger saved by godwin and hampton Looks to reset the man-to-man -man defense as Reddish will hold top of the key and look to set up the play at eight seconds. They go to Hill on the block. Hill had the mismatch. He's tied up, and they're going to call a jump ball with jump four ball. seconds on the shot clock. Pirates Possession ball. goes to Hampton. Hill talking to the officials, looking for a foul. There was some contact down low. Could have gone either way. But this time it's in favor of Hampton with the jump ball. But they will receive the inbounds, and he'll walk the ball near midcourt. Lead is still two for the Pirates. Dean cut off. Comes back to Warren. Warren splits the defenders. Floater in the lane is good. And one. Davey on Warren in Best traffic. Gets the field Foul goal to drop. Three, Reddish. Foul, I believe, charged to Reddish. 
his second. Third. 13 foul on the Blue Host. Warren at the line, shooting one. Warren back to the free throw line where he split his earlier opportunities. Makes that one. Warren now pushes the lead to five. He's got 12 points, four of five from the floor, two of three from the three-point line, and two of three from the free throw line. To go along with five rebounds and a steal. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Harrison, the freshman of the year, trying to will his team back. Reddish, skip pass. Younger, left corner, three is up. Air ball comes to Hill, and it's a shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. As Pirates if ball. Hill had just another second, would have had an easy layup. He was in great position, but... That shot from the corner just off the mark and the shot clock violation gives the ball back to Hampton. That's turnover number eight for Presbyterian. Pirates also with eight turnovers. Dean down the lane, didn't get a call, got his own board and the whistle and they're gonna call a foul on Presbyterian. It looks to be against Reddish and he foul on is upset. Three Reddish, his third. That's his third. Team four. 14.05 to go. Younger will get a breather. Looks like Thrash is back on the floor for the Blue Host. Entry pass received by Warren. Spinning down the middle of the lane. Goes with the left hand and he's clobbered. Foul on 23. Reddish is four. Foul is on Reddish. That's his four. So two quick fouls on Reddish, and Zeb Graham will return to the floor. Pirates were pointing at Hill. They wanted it to go against him. It would have been his fourth. David Warren at the line, shooting two. Warren back at the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw is good. Take another look at it here. Warren in the lane. Foul could have gone either way. Pirates 6 of 10 from the free throw line. Bluehost 8 of 10 from the free throw line. Warren, second free throw, good. 44-37. Graham will push here for, will push for the Blue Holes. 13-46, Hill, top of the key. Warren goes down, Hill all the way to the bucket. Winston Hill for two. Tough break there for Warren. I think he was trying to go for the steal, but ended up falling down, and Hill took advantage of the opportunity that presented itself. Chris Shelton swings. Warren, three-pointer up. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Graham. Fast break opportunity here for the Blue Holes. Thrash, McCormick, back to Graham. Top of the key, three up, no good. Rebound, fought for, and it will stay with Hampton. They're going to say last touch by McCormick. Pirates boned out of bounds. The officials are going to talk about it. And the officials are going to overturn the call. Correction. Presbyterian's boned out of bounds. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Graham, top of the key. Harrison nearly had it stolen by Bethea. Harrison takes the open shot, and the three is good. Harrison. Number zero, Harrison. Makes a two. big shot there. He's had a tough shooting day. He's two of nine with six points. Came into the game as the number four scorer in the conference and had a tough game here. Pass from Dean off the mark. Thrash going all the way. Shot is blocked by Deuce Dean. Thrash saves it, comes back to Hill. Down low, McCormick lip, no good, but a whistle and a foul. Great hustle by both teams here. Deuce Dean foul sized up one. the block, Deuce but the Deuce blue holes stay third. with it, and McCormick will head to the free throw line to shoot two. McCormick at the line. McCormick will head two. to the free throw line. He's been 
everything today for the Blue Host. He's got 18 points, six of seven shooting, three of four behind the three-point line, and he's a perfect three for three from the free throw line, make it four of four. 18 points now for McCormick. Second free throw off the mark, no good. Rebound by Warren. McCormick came into today's game averaging just under nine points per game, so he's more than doubled his average. Skip pass to the corner to Shelton, but they are right corner, 10 seconds. Warren gonna put it on the floor, six seconds. Pull up jumper over two defenders, shot is short. Rebound McCormick, lead remains one for the Pirates. Blue Host can take the lead with the field goal. Graham throws up a wild shot, no good. But they will push it for the Pirates. Four on two break. Deuce Dean layup up and good. Deuce two. Lead goes back to three for Hampton. Under 12 minutes to go. Next dead ball will take us to the media timeout. Pirates shooting 50% from the floor. Blue holes 37%. Pass for Hill stolen. Warren able to read the pass and jumps right in front of it. Just over 11 minutes left in the ball game. Warren goes right, Dean. Dean down the middle of the lane, jump stop, goes up, contact, and the shot no good. But when we come back, Deuce Dean will be at the free throw line. You are watching Foul ESPN zero. 3 in the Harrison 2021 Hercules Tires Big six. South Men's Basketball Media Championship. Timeout. We'll be back. The Big South Conference would like to thank our following valued corporate partners for their support this season. First citizens. <laughs> For attractive offers on the ultra-responsive accurate TLX, visit your accurate dealer today. We want to become that trusted advisor that actually guides them down that road. Back here on ESPN3 and this Big That's South Network first. broadcast is brought to you by GEICO. This is right around the time we would usually remind everyone how Pepsi knows what fans like. But we all know fans would just like to be here. And we really want you here. So for now, wherever you are, look forward to being the home crowd once again and watch while enjoying an ice cold, refreshing Pepsi. Pepsi, that's what I like. Deuce Dean at the free throw line. Deuce Dean at the line, shooting two. He'll be shooting two free throws here on that last drive. Foul was charged to Harrison. Dean's free throw is good. Lead goes back to four. Second free throw up and good. Pirates as a team. Nine of 13 from the free throw line. Presbyterian right behind him at nine for 12. Graham works. The top of the key, 17 seconds left. They look inside for Hill, guarded by Warren. Hill finds Thrash, who had the ball stripped. Great defense by Hampton. Able to converge down low on the post player. Come away with a turnover. The 10th turnover committed by the Blue Host. Blue Host. Sticking with the man-to-man, -man. Deuce Dean hesitates, finds Chris Shelton open in the corner. Three is good. Shelton. Chris Shelton with a high arcing Damn. shot. And the lead back to eight for the Pirates. They withstood an incredible run by the Blue Hose. Got it within one. Since then, the Blue Hose have been on a two-minute, 12-second scoring drought. A 7-0 run for Hampton during that time frame and thrash will spot up, he'll take the three, his shot off the mark, but they will get the rebound and he'll push. Hill dives on a loose ball, slid with it, no travel call, Harrison will force the three, shot no good, but Graham with the tip Number put back. Five, and that two. turnover by Hampton results in an easy put back opportunity for the Blue Hopes. Nine and a half to go. 
again, drawing the attention of the defense. Godwin called for a travel. Turnover Traveling goes back call. to the Blue Hole. Stewart back in the line. As Thrash will the blue holes. get a breather. Coming Dickens in is Kobe Stewart and Dejour Dickens will return to the floor replacing Bethea. Reminder, the winner of this game will play the number two seed Radford Highlanders Monday, March the 1st, game at 6 p.m. Graham uses the screen, cut off by Shelton Hill. Has Harrison, 17 seconds. Harrison drives, goes to the bucket, adjusting midair. Hill with the putback tip. And it's a four point ball game with nine minutes to go. Dean near midcourt has Dejour Dickens. Warren nearly turns it over. Finds Shelton. Back to Dickens. Dickens goes right at the basket for the dunk and the foul. And Talk one. about finding Scored victory the in the jaws 15. of defeat. Literally the heels of Davion Warren nipping on midcourt. The official right there looking for it. Find Shelton, he gets it to Dejour Dickens for the easy flush and the foul. Foul was charged to McCormick, it's his second. Dickens, Dickens goes to the free throw line, be his first free throw attempt today. And it's good. Dickens now with 11 points on five of six shooting. 54-47, eight and a half to go. Graham will initiate the offense. Looking inside for McCormick. Now back Hill. Harrison will get it back to McCormick. He'll back down. Warren, there's contact. They're going to call the foul on the floor. Wave off the basket. Foul on three. Warren, his third. That's going to be his third fifth. personal. Team fifth will take another look at it. McCormick with a nice move. Spins. They call the tripping foul on the floor so it will be a baseline inbound here for the Blue Holtz. Hill will receive it out near the three-point line and the Blue Holtz will initiate the offense. 16 seconds. Graham nearly got away. He did get away with the double dribble. Looked like he put both hands on it. Harrison will put up the contested shot and he knocks it down. Number zero, Harrison. Big shot. Eight. Cuts the lead back to four as we reach 7.53. Next dead ball will take us to a media timeout. The Blue Holes hanging right there with the Pirates. Both teams exchanging runs. Warren is fouled going baseline. And when we come back, he'll be at the free throw line. You're watching ESPN3 and this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you by Geico. We'll be back. Get you there. Hercules Tires, ride on our strength. Back here on ESPN3, another big play here from the freshman of the year, Mr. Rayshon Harrison, also a second team all-conference member and all-freshman team. So a lot of accolades for the young man out of Greenville, South Carolina, and that shot brought his team back within four. They were trailing by seven. And Davion Warren will head to the free throw line now. The last foul actually was called on Harrison. He has three personal. Warren, two, Warren uh, four of five from the free throw line today. His first one here is short, but got the roll. Warren now with 15. On the year, he's averaging 21.3, and Harrison right behind him at 17.5. So both free throws good for Davion Warren. Makes it a six-point ball game, 56-50, seven and a half to go. Once again, the winner of this contest will take on the Highlanders of Radford at 6 p.m. on Monday. Hill working hard on the post, backing down Warren. Shot blocked 
Tipped around, it comes to Shelton and Hill. Looking at the official, looking for the call. No call there, and the Pirates with possession. Working the offense here, leading by six. Blue Host showing zone. Dean, nowhere to go. Warren with eight seconds. Back up top, Dean with five, four, three, two, one. Shot is blocked. Great defense there by Shot Owen McCormick. Press Kept Terry Deuce Ball. Dean in front of him, forced Dean to take an ill-advised shot and send it right back at him. Graham will head back to the bench. Looks like Reddish back on the floor. He's been sitting for quite some time as he picked up those. He picked up that his fourth personal. Harrison, left wing, guarded by Bethay, uses a screen from Hill. Pull up jumper is good. Number zero, Harrison. Lee continue. goes back to four for Hampton. Six and a half to go. Warren sees some daylight. Lost the ball going up. And they will say he was out of bounds. Blue was Warren ball, while trying to save the possession. Possession goes back to the Blue Hose as we take another look at that last field goal from the freshman of the year here in the Big South, Rayshawn Harrison. Harrison uses the screen, and they're going to call a foul. Foul on four. Bethea is second, team six. Foul on Bethea is his second, team six. Reddish receives the inbound. Under six to go. Harrison throws up a shot. They're going to call foul a foul on Bethea. I'm Bethea. not quite sure where the contact yes, was. I'd third. like to see that one again. Team that was seven. a tough call. So three free throws here for Harrison. He came off the screen. Put it up, and the officials gave him the call. So back-to-back -back fouls on Bethea, so that's his third. Harrison at the line. First free throws up, and it's short. Second free throw is good. Younger will return to the floor, replacing Stewart. Second shot, excuse me, third shot is good. So Harrison goes two for three, lead back to two for Hampton. Pirates haven't scored in the last 247. Five forty-three to go. Chris Shelton finds Warren. Double screen. Warren guarded by Harrison. Drives to the bucket. Up under the lamp is good. Warren. When the Pirates Warren. need a bucket, they get it to number three. Warren, he's got 16. Lead back to four. 524 and counting. Team's going to have to dig down deep here. Come the crunch time here in this opening round game. Harrison being chased by Warren. Screen, skip pass, Reddish gonna be challenged. The Pirates leave him open for three and he knocks it down. That's a three pointer from number 23, Reddish. Blue holes within one. Reddish is a 31% three point shooter. Knocked that one down. Lead is one. Dean picks up his dribble. They go back to Warren. Warren double teamed. They said he stepped out of bounds, and it's a turnover. As Marquis Godwin will check back into the ball game. Godwin back in the lineup. He'll, re be replace, he'll replace Bethea. You take another look at it here. Reddish was wide open. Pirates challenged him to make the open shot. This time he drilled it. 
Presbyterian with the field goal here can take the lead. They had the opening lead at three to zero and then the Pirates took that and have run with it ever since. Harrison's three, no good. Dejour Dickens secures the rebound and at least for now the Pirates stay in front. We approach the four minute mark. They go down low to Dickens through the Pirates. A cutting Warren can't hold on to the pass. Turnover. Turnover number 15 for Hampton. Reddish. Back to good. Rebound comes to Dejour Dickens. And Reddish unable to take advantage of the size advantage. Reddish listed at six foot four. Deuce Dean listed at 6'4", but there's definitely a difference in height there. 3.38 and counting. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Dean turns the corner, drives the lane. He's fouled on the drive, and it's going to be on the blue holes. They're going to... 22. Um, 22. Younger. younger. His first. It's his first, Team but that'll take us to the media, media timeout. timeout. You're watching the 2021... Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Big Championship. South we'll be back. Would like to thank our following valued corporate partners. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. Today, four of six from Good the free throw line. Time. Free throw so crucial here as Hampton trying to maintain a lead. They've had the overwhelming majority of this ball game. First free throw is good. 59, 57, 331 to go. One more shot here for Dean. Shot is up and it's good. Dean now with 14. Lead back to three for the Pirates. Reddish. Drives right, cut off by Godwin. Younger in the corner, 16 seconds. Harrison, the freshman of the year, looking to create for his team and put the blue holes in a Monday night matchup with the Highlanders. Inside out, Reddish hit a big three just a few minutes ago. This time it's going to be an elbow jumper, and it's good. Reddish for two. Back to a one-point ball game, under three minutes to go. Both teams have to take exceptionally good care of the basketball. Each possession in these final minutes so crucial. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Dean driving, gets to the cup, there's a foul, and, and they say count the bucket. Count the basket, foul on. 22, Younger. Foul is on Younger. Second. It's his second. Lead goes Team back ten. to three as Bethea will come into the game. Coach Dorn playing some offensive defense Deuce. between Bethea and Marquise Godwin. Moment. Free throw on the way here from Dean. Shot is up and it's good. Dean now with 17 points. Two and a half to go here in the ball game. Reddish guarded by Bethea. Harrison calls off the screen from McCormick, uses one from Hill. 14 seconds. Harrison again with the top of the key. He's going to have to create here. Uses the screen from Hill. Step back, pull up jumper. The three off the mark, no good. Rebound comes to Hill, and he's fouled. 
big possession there for the Basket's Blue Holes. Good. They're going to call a foul on five. Warren. Dickens. Excuse me, Dickens. His four. His Team four. Eight. Team's eighth. Hill going to the free throw line here for a three-point play. Godwin looks to check back in. Hill, a 64% free throw shooter, can make this a one-point ball game in. again. 2.08 remaining. Of the blue hole. Winston Hill at the line, shooting one. Also checking in, Led Graham back in for the Blue Host. Free throw from Hill. It's up, and it's good. It's a one-point ball game once again. Presbyterian looking to pick up full court. Godwin easily crosses the timeline. As the Blue Host looking to deny the ball from Deuce Dean. Skip pass. Dean gets it with 18 seconds, under two minutes on the game clock. Dickens, top of the key, 10 seconds. Warren will come get the ball, deflected away by LeGram. Five seconds, Pirates gonna have to create and they call a foul on LeGram. It's gonna be two free throws here for Davion Warren. That's 10 team foul starts to the Blue Holes. This first. Well, we got this great. You can find the best variety of officially licensed merchandise and conference and school branded items at BigSouthStore.com. Gear up with some new apparel or find that perfect gift. Get fully equipped for all your game day fun with BigSouthStore.com. Warren, free throw, short, no good. But they returns to the floor. Remains a one point ball game. Second shot forthcoming for Warren. Second free throw is up, and it's good. Lead goes back to two for Hampton. 1.42 remaining. Ready for pickup, cross the timeline, and call a timeout. Looks to be a 30-second timeout called by the Blue Hose. So while we've got this break, for the best in Big South coverage, out. visit BigSouthSports.com. Stay current with the latest news, results, stats, standings, and much more. Enjoy video features showcasing remarkable student athletes or connect to school sites or social media outlets all from one place. Remember, the source of all your conference information is BigSouthSports.com. Take a look here at some of our first citizens game stats. Right now, your leading scorer for the Pirates, Warren with 19, Dean with 17, Dickens with 11, but they with 8. For the Blue Holes, McCormick with 19, Reddish with 17, Harrison 13, and Hill with 11. Harrison with 11 of their 13 coming here in the second half. Coming out of the huddle. See what coach Quentin Farrell is able to draw up for the Blue Holes here, looking to tie with the field goal or take the lead with the three. 90 seconds left in the ball game. Hill looking to get rid of the ball, trying to find Harrison, now younger. Comes back to Harrison with 10 seconds. Screen from Hill. Pirates go with the double. Hill swings left. McCormick, corner, reddish. Pump fakes, drives to the basket. Shot is blocked. Two, one, and it's a shot clock violation, and the Pirates get the stop. Shot clock violation. What a defensive Pirates rotation ball. by Dejour Dickens as Reddish drove the baseline. Dickens able to get the block with two seconds. Hill jumped on it, but just not enough time for a jump ball to be called as the possession arrow is in favor of the Blue Holes. However, remember that it is still in favor of the Blue Holes for the officials. Say it is Pirate basketball with 111 remaining. Blue Host pick up full court press. Dean set to inbound. He can't run the baseline as the Blue Host did not score, so he has to stay set. He comes into Godwin. Godwin gets it ahead to Dean as we approach. The one minute mark one here minute 
One in Hampton. Left in this competition. Shelton, Dean exchange possession. 10 seconds showing on the shot clock. Warren guarded by Younger. Looks to create three, two. Deuce Dean will have to take a three pointer. Back iron, no good. Rebound comes to the Blue Holes. It's about an eight or nine second differential between the game and the shot clock. Harrison uses a screen from Hill. Going to the bucket, inside out. Younger, they got a timeout called by the Blue Hosts. So that before the shot was taken, Presbyterian calls timeout. So you see 28.9 on the game clock. 30 second time 20 out. seconds on the shot clock. Correction. It's going to be a timeout. full timeout, full timeout called by Presbyterian. The they will be inbounding the ball here on the near sideline just to the left of my broadcast position. Again, a reminder, the winner of this matchup will be headed to Radford, the number two seed here in the 2021 Hercules Tires Big South Men's Basketball Championship. Game is set for a 6 p.m. tip, Monday, March the 1st. Fortunate to be joined by the conference commissioner earlier in this broadcast, and we talked about how March Madness coming a little early this year as the Big South tournament starting here this final weekend of the month of February, final weekend of Black History Month, celebrated here in the country. Hampton will break out of their huddle first. They'll have Shelton, Gene, Dickens, Warren, and Bethea on the floor. For the Blue Holes, McCormick, Younger, Reddish, Hill, and Harrison. Looks like McCormick. Well, no, make that Younger will be doing the inbounding. Get it into Reddish and Younger, mid-court. It's about a nine second differential between the game and shot clock. Reddish, guarded by Dean. They come, Harrison, the freshman. A lot of responsibility on him here. Reddish again, three, short. R rebound of McCormick and the layup is good. Foul will be charged. Basket's good. Foul on three. Against Warren. Warren, his fourth, team ninth. His fourth, team ninth. We'll take another look at it here. They called the push on Warren. Blue Host tie the game, can take the lead here with his free throw. With nine seconds left, full it's going to be a full timeout. Full timeout charge to the Pirates. What a turn of events. The Pirates are able to force a contested shot. McCormick at the line to give the Blue Host the lead. The free throw's up and it's good. Blue Host pick up full court press. Inbound comes to Warren. He's gonna push, gets a screen, pass ahead. But there, his three is up. The shot is good with 2.9. The Pirates on top. 
by two, 67-65, and a timeout is called. What a big shot there by Bethea. Davion Warren will take a look at it again, able to push it, nice green to give him a lane for the pass. And with two defenders in front of him, Raymond Bethea Jr. knocks down the biggest shot of his career here as a Hampton Pirate as the young man transferred in at the beginning of this season from Howard and has potentially put his team into the next round. But it's still 2.9 seconds remaining. Timeout called by his Presbyterian. Point nine seconds to go. McCormick, baseball pass to Harrison. Harrison, jump stops, throws up the Hail Mary, and is no good. That's and that's the end of the ball game. Score. The Hampton the Pirates will advance to the next round of the 2021 20, Hercules Tires Big South yes, Men's Basketball Championship. As Raymond Bathea Jr.'s three-point shot Hercules sends tires. them to the next Big round as we take a look here at our Hercules Tires and final stats and our game summary. Monday it was the Rams. big man getting into the action early for the Pirates and Dejour Dickens. Davion Warren, the conference leading scorer, doing what he does. And Shelton here finding the big man again here in the minutes when the Pirates needed a bucket for the easy slam. Deuce Dean sets up Chris Shelton with a big outside shot. But if this was the play that won it for Hampton. Davion Warren gets the screen from Dejour Dickens and Bethea in traffic surrounded by black jerseys knocks down the three-point shot that sends the Pirates to Radford on Monday. Well, we thank you for joining us here on ESPN3 and we'll see you.